Okay, suppose you're someone a hundred years ago and you want to play banjo so bad you want to sit maybe on your front porch down in South Carolina and play a banjo, but you can't even afford a banjo out of the Sears catalog. What do you do? Well, I want to show you something here. This is my newest acquisition for the Cigar Box Guitar Museum at Spiels Tavern. In fact, if you want information, you can go right there. This is an antique homemade banjo from South Carolina. And taking a look at the cookie tin that it was made from, and the rust, and the hand carving of it, I would gather this is at least 100 years old. Whoever made it took their time with it. Uh, they they really rounded out the back of the neck. It feels nice. Uh, the neck goes all the way through the can, just like uh, our cigar box guitars are. So it goes the whole way through and comes out the back. And I imagine there was a tailpiece here that grabbed the strings. There was a bridge here. And then there was a fifth string tuner here. And the other tuners were there. There's just bits and pieces of two of the tuners left, which were completely hand-carved right there. And so these are the things I look for. I actually spend a lot of time going through eBay and elsewhere for very obscure uh, search terms just to see if I can find some of these old instruments. Now, a lot of these instruments that I have owned are featured in my brand new book, Making a Poor Man's or Making Poor Man's Guitars. Uh, you can get the information at poormansguitar.com. Uh, my passion is to go and find the old instruments, find the old stories, and then recreate them. I've done it in a few different places in the book. Uh, if you haven't gotten the book, get it now. It's it's awesome. If you know somebody who loves music history, they're gonna love this book. Making Poor Man's Guitars by me, Shane Spiel, from Fox Chapel Publishing. And I'm going to spend some time really getting into this banjo. By the way, here's a little comparison on to the sizes. Um, this banjo is a lot shorter, and they probably didn't have, you know, regular banjo to go by. They just probably went by feel and made their own. So I'm going to get to know this thing a little more, and... Uh, do what I call guitar archaeology on it, and that means just start studying all the details of it and just see what I can find. And then maybe for another book, I can show you how you can make an identical copy to this. So, my name's Shane Spill. Thank you so much for watching. I just had to share this with you guys. The very old, very antique, homemade cookie tin banjo from South Carolina. And it's probably at least 100 years old. I'm very proud to have this. And I'm going to eventually get it up at the Cigar Box Guitar Museum at Spiels Tavern, which is in New Alexandria, Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching. You guys have an excellent day. Bye-bye.